and we're live. Hey everybody, and welcome to today's stream. We will continue with where we uh, basically left off in the previous one, and that is finishing up uh, the shower head here, and then getting it over in our apartment, and then finishing it up, hopefully, till the end, and getting it ready. Alright, so the last thing that I remember from doing it on this thing on the Friday stream was we finished up the whole structure. The only thing that was missing is the front end here. And let's see, what do we want to do for this one? Let's check my reference images for this micro apartment reference images. And the shower head should be something like this. Alright, nothing too complicated. Let's get it. That's that thing is done there. That's fine there. Got to reorganize my other screen so I can see what the hell I'm doing. All right. So basically what I need to do is just fill up the front end for this cap. So isolate this thing and go over here at the front. I do need a cap so I can just go in here and instead of creating one and trying to uh, make it to the right size, what I can do is get in here and just take this thing, detach it as a clone and out of this thing, come on, select it, there we go. Now select the middle part and this middle part can be used, there we go, like this. And since this thing kind of goes all the way out, just make it like this and make it go back up a bit. And with Turbo Smooth in um, mind when I'm doing this, now when I Turbo Smooth this, it's going to give me this nice uh, turn here that I see, which is more or less what I want to have. And now I can work on the detailing on this front part. So let's do that. And just let me chamfer this edge so it kind of holds this form better. So 0 0.05. All right, let's see how this thing looks now. All right, cool. Doesn't clip. Well, doesn't clip that much. So we can just uh, select this piece alongside with this one and ever so slightly just move them up front like this and we m we have that lip done for this piece so now we just need to add in the, the supporting geometry for all of this for the nozzles and that's not hard at all all right so uh i have from what i can see one like this for the nozzles and then Another one that we're probably going to go all across to here. One more, and it kind of collapses in the middle. So collapse it like this. All right, cool. So what I can probably do here is, depending on how much I want to replicate this, like I can go ahead and take all of these polygons where I actually have, uh, let's just try it like this. On top of the turbo smooth, I'm gonna put an edit poly. Select all of these polygons like that and inset them for a very small amount by polygon like this. And now bevel this thing outwards just once. 0 0.1 maybe. There we go, something like this. Inset. A very small amount and extrude inwards. I like this just so it's not visible. There we go. So if I put a extra turbo smooth on top of this, yeah, see, we probably could get this thing to look even better, but for now it's just 
it's a very very minor detail so I'm happy with how this thing looks for now I what I could have probably done is if I wanted to do something like this and I probably should have done it that way and probably will do it that way because this just adds in way too much geometry so what I'm gonna do is delete this thing again and again do the same thing like before so just inset a very small amount uh, so let's try 0. Point something extrude inwards because I can see that there is a ridge in there there we go and now what I can do is hit a connect and out of this thing extrude or create a shape it can be a linear doesn't matter it can be a smooth one it's fine uh, turbo smooth here yeah it's going to give me that uh, ridge that I see in here and inside that line I can use it to do the same exact thing I did with these guys over here so what I'm going to do is get in here open up this group just take one of these guys pull it out to here as a copy and uh, okay I don't want you to be part of that group hold on a second let's see what have I grouped in there okay move it here to center to center all right awesome 90 degrees let's move it into position see if it's the right size no it's not so scale it downwards so it's the right size like this all right now reset the x form convert to enable poly isolate both of these with the spline there we go so i can see what the hell is going on and now select both the line and the uh, nozzle let's just move this thing to the side a bit so i can see what the hell is going on and now say do the same thing again go tools uh not a line but where's my spacing tool there we go spacing tool pick a path put it here and increase the number of the nozzles to whatever we want since these are very close to each other they can be like I don't know, 90 yeah this is fine centers edges instances apply all right awesome and the isolate they are protruding a bit too far out so let's go in and actually change that select just this piece since all of these created ones are instances of the original one by moving just this one I can control all of them now like this and cool I got this thing as a nozzle uh, very very similar to what I'm seeing on my uh, nozzle here so it's fine I can live with this all right so now it's fine I'm gonna save this before something else happens let's see if I delete this yeah it's not gonna screw it on with me. anything else in here uh, before I go to turbo smooth I'm gonna go back to uh, poly now when I do have some two three four five six so skip three one two three 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 Three, skip three one two three damn it all right whatever 
I just select them like this. I don't know why. I guess somewhere in my geometry I screw up, uh, screwed up the number, so it's not an even number. So we're gonna have one of those be closer over here, but I won't be actually seen. All right, so we got those in. Now what I want to do is I want to inset this thing. like so maybe okay I want to delete those and I'm gonna convert this to an edible poly with a turbo smooth on so this will allow me to take all of these guys and regularize them and for some of these I'm gonna have to rotate them a bit to straighten them out this is the, because the regularizer can sometimes just like make some screw ups but it generally does a really good job. So it's fine like that. Okay, uh, what did I miss in the chat? Uh, this high poly model is hard to unwrap for texturing. Uh, depending on how high you go. It can be a problem if you have some complex shapes, but other than that, not really. Uh, does high poly model take a uh, high time for rendering? No, uh, your poly models, or the density of the poly mesh does not really uh, like even compute to how much your render time is going to be. Rendering is more or less uh, resolution and quality for lighting and textures. Okay, that's fine. Oh, sh did I mean? Oh, crap. What is this? What is this? Okay, so this thing should go up, go in, inwards, and scale up in like this. Turbo smooth on. All right, this is better. And actually, I'm going to leave it as such because, yeah. Let's just do this. Uh, remove all of those. That is fine. Okay, make all of these uniques. Now, attach them all together. go nozzles and the isolate get my spline that I extruded or extracted for this spline there we go and we got all those details okay so with that what the hell I don't, ah, of course. Okay, so let me do the same thing that I just did for the other guy, for this one as well. All right, so get, get all of them, make them unique. Yes, just please don't crash. There we go. 239, amazing. All of these to one. All right, upper nozzles. All right, and the isolate, and now we have this shower head done. Now save this thing, and is everything in one layer? Yes, it is, so I shouldn't have any issues with this. Okay, let's open up my micro apartment scene and merge both of these scenes. Well, 
let's go here check out my twitch micro apartment the shower head all right awesome okay let's make sure that i import into my default shower head merge file boom Okay, group this thing together as shower. Let's put it into position. And now I do need to take into account the fact that this thing is not scaled properly. So I'm gonna have to like manually scale it to position because right now it's way too big. is way too big all right just so i have some scale to know, so i know what the hell i'm scaling it to i'm gonna put the the guy in here okay so the guy this thing and this thing isolated well i'm not really not that off scale for that much so i'm just gonna have to maybe something like this yeah this thing works i guess let's put it to the wall cool now get this thing guy that's this guy over here back outside anti-isolate and boom we got our shower for our bathroom done we have the front here oh of course well then this thing needs to go up a bit so select this let's go maybe up to here Same thing over for this piece. All right, uh, give it a shell. I want to see if this. Oh, it actually, does have a shell. Okay. Hey, Valentina. Uh, I'll check him out in a second. Just give me one second to finish up uh, some of these small things. And we can continue on with other things, but I just want to get this thing done. All right. That is fine. All right. All right, there we go. All right, let me let me check the Discord and see what you guys done. Uh, bro, do some videos in 3ds Max interface. I've done videos in 3ds Max interface. Check them out. Uh, just go over to the channel. You you're gonna see that I have a tutorial on how to set up your interface to look like mine and everything. Uh, you guys have a Discord? Yes, we do. We do have a Discord. Uh, the details for the Discord are down in the description of this video in the stream go over there you're gonna have a couple of uh, different uh, like oh hello these are fine all right again, let's check how is this first making a KR, AKM AR not bad not bad no Yashi this is uh, renders for my graduation but it was supposed to be a futuristic but really all right, let's see what did Sarah need to do for her graduation project. All right, let me check. All 
All right, so this is what Sarah needed to do. Let's give some let's give some uh, critique to Sarah. Well, this thing is fine. The some weird something weird is going on up here. I'm not sure if this thing is supposed to be like this or if it's not supposed to be like this. Hmm, interesting. Cool, not bad. Not bad, Sarah. Ooh, interior scene of a game. Okay. This is some shitty lighting going on here. Yeah, man, <laughs> as you were saying it, uh, in here, the lighting for this scene, it, it doesn't have any, how do I put this lightly? It doesn't have any direction. You're missing all the contact shadows. You're missing uh, directional lighting. You have more or less just ambient lighting all over the place. You have this uh, some this light is supposed to be candle light, but the way this thing is lit, it's like you have just one ball of light and it's like radiating everywhere. It's weird for some reason. All right, let me check stream. All right, lighting. Some lighting ideas. And these are very easy lights to create. Probably just a couple of minutes. So we can probably make something like this as well. All right, let's see. All right, okay. So the first thing that I'm actually missing that I do want to address and I did no, uh, noted it in the previous uh, streams is we haven't created an actual door that would hold up for interiors in any of our streams up until now. So I want to have one door that we can uh, mo basically make it a modular one so we can use it down the line in live streams. So let's create a door for the interior and then we can make some lamps for this uh, apartment and up here since I'm gonna have this uh, open window or not the open window but the open space uh, we might actually put one of those rotating fans it can double down as a AC or a cooler and a light uh, Shivan you can check the, like I said the video about uh, the user interface and that is named user interface and uh, shortcuts. There you will see me go through all the shortcuts that I use and how to set them up. One of those shortcuts being the Swift loop and you're gonna see which uh, key binding I have for that thing. All right. Now, door. Let's see size for doors so door size all right let's put this thing over here what is the center door for size residential homes Doo -doo. all right what is this okay Let's see, all right, center height. Why are they using inches? It's ridiculous. All right. Not bink, give me duck to go. Door size. Images. Eh. So this is basically how they make it. 
which is not a bad thing to have, but still, I'm gonna just have the measurements for this thing. All right, so, oh, you know what? This is actually pretty good. I actually like this because you can see which way the geometry flows for the texture. So I'm actually gonna take this. So save image, uh, micro apartment, call this thing doors, door reference. All right, uh, if anybody has something to add before I start making this door, or if you got any uh, doors that you would like me to make, now would be a great time to uh, share it in uh, our server in Discord, and I can check it from there and see what you guys want me to do. Otherwise, we're gonna make this door and prep it up for use in future uh, streams. So. Go ahead, if you have a door that you like me to create, put it in here, and I'm giving you guys two minutes. Yeah, it's fine what people use in India, hell, I know that uh, America uses feet and inches, uh, England uses feet and inches, but the rest of the people in the world prefer to use the more <sighs> correct way of doing things because it's a much more precise way of doing it, centimeters, meters, millimeters, you know. Alright, so that's fine. What is the size? All right, external frame, internal frame. All right, clear opening. All right, that's cool. So I can just have this thing save images. Door. Size. All right, let's go. Save this thing and pop out a new Power. All right, reset, boom, done. Now let's get down to, where is it? All right, I don't need this. Reference images for my micro apartment. That's this one. Alright, cool. Let's check in and see what's the size. Alright, so the size for this thing front is gonna be first one zero by zero. Oh nine oh two, so ninety point two by seventy two centimeter seventy two. All right, so this is the right aspect for the picture. The size is still not really in the game, but there we go. All right, so I can follow along this image. Go to object properties, freeze, Show frozen gray, okay. I can no longer select it, that's fine. And over here, the only thing that's really like bothering me is this very, very bright white. So let's just fix that. I hate having uh, reference images that have like bright lights or bright whites because after watching into that thing for an hour, your eyes simply don't like it. So you start like really hurting. And it's not a fun thing, so let's just fix it really quickly. Give it a bluish color on top of it. Make it a opacity of 20, maybe. Maybe a bit more, though. Let's try 40, 
30. Yeah, 30 is fine. Collapse over and resave. This should propagate all over to max. There we go. All right, cool. So let's make this thing very simple. So it's going to be a, that's going to be the plane for now. From there all the way up to there. Make it see through. Edit poly, select that edge, and this one. Cap it there. Move in here. Cap it there. That's fine. Now, let's add in the supporting geometry for the cuts. So we're going to have this cut over here. Another one that's going to go across from here. One there, one there, one there, and there. Now, one there, one in here. Okay. So, now, for these, I'm going to select all of them. And from what I can see, that there is a ridge in here. And then that kind of bevels outwards just again. So that ridge, I'm going to go with the bevel. And the height, I can go minus 1 with, let's say, minus 0 0.5. Click OK. And now, bevel it outwards again. So 1. But this time, though, uh, let's try and put it in for minus 1. So 1 with minus 1, like this. There we go. All right, cool. So I got that frame uh, going on. All right, awesome. Now, I want to have this same thing on the other side. So I'm going to make it so it's about. Let's go and snap this thing over here. So now it's the middle and just slightly move it inwards a bit there we go like that so what I'm gonna do now is get my uh, pivot moved over to here and when I do the symmetry on the y-axis it should make it or the z-axis in this case it should just make this thing o uh, go over on the other side and have the same thing across like that cool Now, I do want to do something else here. Go in here, remove this middle part like so. And I think that this thing is a bit too thick. So I could do uh -huh, center to object. I can just scale it inwards like this. And it's fine now. All right, cool. Now let's just fix the. Let's see if we can just get away with by using a chamfer modifier here. Of a zero point one. I'm gonna have to do some tweaks on some places, but let's see. So twenty, fifty, no. So this thing is fine over here. So let's see over and beyond up here. That's going to fix that issue from over here to down to here. That's going to fix this issue or it's not going to fix it because you're going to have one huge triangle here. All right, let's not do it this way then with the chamfer, but instead just add in the geometry by hand. One in here, one in there, 
there, and there. And down here to propagate. All right, we got both sides done. Now we're gonna need to hold these uh, edges over here. So one in there, one in there, one in there. And we're definitely gonna need to take one that's gonna go across. So select all of these guys. Check this backside, backside is fine. Now, connect two connects and pinch them apart like this. With that selected, let's go in, uh, deselect the inner ones, control backspace to remove the outer ones. And now for these, just go over and collapse. There we go, collapse this. Collapse this. Collapse this. Now add in this cut, this cut, this one, and this one. And that should help with holding that edge quite well. Let's just check it out. All right, need to do something about this edge here. Because I need to hold it like that. There we go. Much, much better. Unlike the rest of it, which kind of looks like crap, but we'll fix it in a second. So we just need to get these guys in line over with that edge. Same thing over here. And voila. Now, since this door is symmetrical on this side, I can just go ahead and do the symmetry over on the X axis, just flip it around. Yeah, it's not gonna change anything. Over here, now check turbo smooth. Yep, it's very, very clean. And what I'm gonna do is over here, add in just one connect in the middle. Not move it or don't do anything to it. The reason for this is I want to get the pivot. Affect the pivot only and move it to the center. So now on top of this symmetry, I can just add a symmetry for the top. Flip it around so it goes up on the thing as well. Increase. No, don't increase anything. All right, that is fine. So if I go, oh, okay. So we're not gonna be doing the symmetry then. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So I just need to fix uh, this piece up here individually like we did in the one in the bottom. All right, no problem. All right, get rid of that symmetry. Two, three, four, five, six. nine, 10, 11, 12. So again, connect two edges, pinch them apart like so. Deselect the middle parts because we want to keep those. Everything else we don't want to keep. Control backspace to remove it. And then collapse this, collapse this. That is going to hold up the outer edge. There 
we go. And now for the inner ones, it's easy because we have proper flowing edges. So it's going to hold that form quite well, like that. So symmetry on will fix the other side. Turbo smooth on will not cause any issues. We do want to have another symmetry on top of here because now the back side is not fixed up, but that's easy. Just make it on the Z. And there we go. Now we have everything working just right. So without a turbo smooth, so I'm going to go and collapse two. Okay, now over here, go in, select that edge and this one, remove those two edges because those were added from the uh, symmetry alongside with this one. I need it. So now with the turbo smooth on, we have a really, really nice uh, door uh, smoothing uh, correctly with supporting geometry and everything. All right, cool. Let's uh, put something so we can open it, this door. Let's see uh, what sort of a handle we want to put for this door. There is no handle for this. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. The chat has been busy a bit. Uh, India, blah, blah, blah. It's a nice story to use it. Hello, guys. Then was it hard for you to start your professional career in 3D modeling? All right. I, when I was starting with 3D, 3D was uh, basically just starting out. So there wasn't too much uh, stuff you can find on the internet. So I had to basically go in here on the hard way and that is learning by not watching anyone but actually trying out stuff and failing i've probably failed more times than hell some of you have tried <laughs> so yeah uh if you have a uh, love for creating stuff and you like uh trying out new stuff trying creating new stuff then you might want to, you you might enjoy doing 3D. If you're the kind of person that kind of gets frustrated easily, you're probably not gonna stay in 3D for long. All right, so f let me just do something here before I go on, and that is, I want to do something like this. I'm gonna go in in here, select this whole edge. I don't like to have inconsistencies in my flows. Let's see, like this. No, why? Yep. Okay, now, ah, damn it. All right, flow it all around. Now go on the X. Okay. Yeah, I cannot do that thing because it's not flowing right, but it's whatever. I shouldn't have any issues there. I'm just checking out to see if I might actually get any smoothing errors, but apparently there are no smoothing errors anywhere, so it's nice and sharp, which is nice. Okay. Oh, snap, let me save this thing. Go again. Yeah, right here. Go to Twitch. Micro apartment door. Oh, one.
Hey Jeff, uh, yes I have. I've even made a video about open, uh, using uh, open subdiv and it's an okay thing. I like it, but then again, I've been doing uh, the turbo smooth workflow for so long that it's basically just m m made it its way into the way that I think when I'm modeling stuff. Open subdiv is great if you don't want to deal with uh, all of the supporting edges. But the way that I do uh, work is that when I create a model that is low poly, I always think of it, how would I create it by adding in the extra supporting edges that would work with Turbo Smooth. In that manner, when I create the low poly, creating the high poly out of that thing is really easy. So uh, I don't have to spend double the time just like going through high poly and low poly versions. All right, so for this, uh, let me see something like this. Uh, let's go door handle, door handle, door handle. All right, go to door handle. There are multiple different door handles and yeah, I'm gonna use something like this. This is easy. It's, it's easy and fast. So I like that. I can probably do something like this as well because this is easy as well. But ah, let's just, I don't, I don't care. But if I put it like this, do I? Hmm. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do we go with something like this or do we go with something like this? Come on, cylinder or handle? Where do we take this? Right, we got handle, handle, handle. Anybody else? No love for the cylinder? All right, handle it is then. Aha, <laughs> there we go, one cylinder. But it's three to one, so I guess we're gonna go with the handle. All right, let's make a handle then. So handle, handle wise, let's just go and do this uh, box. And there it's fine. And poly. Dude, <laughs> I've, uh, I've given lectures at a university and a college, so I've met, I've probably met people that are like your uh, teachers. All right, let's go, go like this. Cage, don't screw up the edge, move this thing back a bit. There we go. All right, this can stay like so. We got the base for this thing. Now the actual handle. 
for the handle it's let's go with something maybe like start off with a cylinder it's always a cylinder pull it outwards like this and now get it to one and this time around I actually do want to get this thing to here hmm, probably somewhere around here then now these two pull them back a bit add a poly Remove both of those like this. Now I want to do one, two, three, four, five, and then maybe. No, actually, no. I think five is fine. Get both of these two to move out. me just move in these guys so they're actually following this thing better move 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 all right cool now you select this 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 and this delete those like that Attach those to that, that. Target weld, this thing over here, this thing over there, this thing there, and this thing there. Oh, I hope. All right, got this. Now, cap both sides, and let's just connect them over. Connect, connect. All right, cool. We end up with a quad in there. That's fine. Come on in there. And there and waterify there. Now select those edges. That one, that one, and this one. Give them a chamfer. That's a very, very small chamfer. Make sure that this thing does not uh, cave in on itself. There we go. 0 0.05. Uh, 0 0.03. That's fine. All right, cool. Now, with this thing on, center to object and make it so it's symmetrical on the y-axis and here flip yep this is fine edit poly remove the middle part and now we can add in some extra edges in here to help hold this form like this and let's see turbo smooth on Yeah, pretty close to what we have here. So I can work with us. So let me just do this. I want to check if I get all of these guys selected. Give them their own smoothing group. And now with the turbo smooth on and smoothing group selected, yeah, it's gonna give me a much more uh, nice looking 
feel. It's gonna look like it's metal and really nicely cut metal. So I think it's much better. All right. What is the current status of your paid course about? Oh yeah, uh, the thing about that I told you about lighting is it's in the works, and the reason why it's it got delayed a bit is basically when I was recording it, it I thought initially it was gonna be probably about 12 videos long, but now it's sitting at 16 videos long, and it's still not finished. As I was recording it, I actually got some ideas, basically some ideas that I got from the streams, and I want to make sure that I, I cover everything. So there is like a couple of more uh, scenarios that I had to create scenes for it and some assets, so they cover everything. So I am working on that uh, as we speak, like when I'm not doing the streams and I'm not doing uh, work for some of the projects that I'm working on. I'm working on that uh, lighting course. I want to say that it's going to be uh, finished, but I don't want to just jinx myself because every time like I try to finish up on something, I see that there is something missing. I've probably had to go uh, and uh, go and backtrack a few times. I actually had uh, two of those topics uh, covered. And then I recorded it about an hour into it. And then I saw that I wanted to have a different approach to it. So I just kind of scrapped it and went back. I'm kind of hoping that in a week it should be finished. But we'll see. Believe it or not, it takes a lot more time than you, you might think. Cylinder. Let's get this thing in. All right, so I'll get this move inwards. this now turbo smooth on put this thing back like so move this thing back like so all right we got a handle here it's nice and let me just do something like this really quickly one sphere. making this too complicated then so make this complicated just squash this thing in there we go to these two. Yeah, just make it simple like this. And just cap in there. I 
Alright, that goes 3DS Max. Okay. Bro, is we use G key for redo? Same command. Uh, I have no idea about redo in Max because. Max likes to crash when I do undo. I cannot even uh, f begin to fathom what would happen if I tried to redo anything in Max. And when we're talking about crashing, it hasn't crashed this uh, stream, which is very dubious and weird. And why it hasn't crashed yet is beyond me, but we'll see. It still has time. All right, that's. I should probably should probably should have used one of the screws that I've already created, and not spend time on this. But whatever. What the hell is going on? What's going on? Oh, of course. Of course, this thing is going to be screwed up like this. You? All right. Target weld. Really? Select this thing, just collapse everything into one. Select all of these guys up here, just collapse them into one. And something is not looking right. Because this guy does not like to go in there, so I'm gonna have to target roll that thing over here to. You know what? Screw that screw. I'm gonna just use one of the screws that I've already created. So let me just check this thing. And for some reason this looks okay, but yeah. All right, uh, now let me see the sizes for the door. Door size. Examples, external frame, clear opening, it's fine. Okay, so the clear opening is 765 millimeters so 76.5 centimeters so 76.5 and the height the clear opening should be 194 All right, so this should be the size of our door. And what you're uh, doing basically here, you're giving me the sizes for the actual frame. So the frame is like uh, 90 by tw uh, 202. But what we are looking for is just the inner door. And just the inner door, the clear opening of the door is this thing that we have here. So the clear opening is 194 centimeters by 76.5 centimeters or 765 millimeters where we want to use it. So I have this. Now what I'm going to do is select uh, this guy, put it in the center, make it see through, select everything except that guy and start scaling stuff up until it gets to the right size. There you go. All right. 
this is gonna work. All right, cool. So now, size-wise, this thing is actually the correct size. Now I'm gonna, uh, do, I'm gonna freeze everything. Deselect this guy. Turbo smooth on is okay. In here, let's see, 70,000, that's fine, it's okay. So like this, move it up a bit, like so. Okay, so basically now I have a door. With this uh, door, what I can do is save this thing, open up my micro apartment, import this door everywhere. And now I can use this. Twitch, micro apartment, door or one, let's import. Well, first of all, I just thought about it, but let me select this guy here that we imported previously and put it in its very own uh, layer. So create a new layer, call this thing shower head. Okay, let's see, yep, the shower is fine. I'm back to defaults. And in here, I want to import my door, I'll merge the file. There we go. Call this thing door. Now let's give it a bit of a naming. So door. Uh, bad luck base. Door handle. Handle cylinder. All right, cool. And now select everything. Put it in a group as a door. All right, cool. Now let's try and move this thing into the right position. And of course, this is going to be a small door, and this is for the entrance. We're going to need a bigger door, but I think this one is going to be the right size for this place over here. So let's just isolate both of these. 90 degrees. Yeah, same size. It's going to fix in here. I'm gonna have to make it a hmm. All right, so effective pivot only, snap it down in here. So now when I scale it upwards, it's still gonna scale from the middle. Oh, God damn it, whatever. Okay, scale up on the Y. No, X, no, Z. All right, it's only scaling up on the Z. 105. I think that's enough to hold it up. Yep, now it's in the right position. Cool. Move it in a bit like this. open up the group, select this thing, and mirror it on the X as a copy, and pull it to this side. Really? Ah, damn it. <sighs> Fine. Just move this thing back. Move this thing back as well. Get this over on this side. There we go. That's much better.
All right, group, close. Select this. Yeah, that whole door moves. That's nice. And and the isolate. Cool. All right, I'm happy with that door. We can use it on multiple places. We can probably snap one right here as well. Uh, I have to do some tweaking here, but it's just gonna be simpler just to put in the door like this. And now, instead of doing it that way, I just check it out see it snaps right there well so I just I'm gonna do the lazy thing and the lazy thing being that I'm just gonna select uh, the frame for the door and ever so slightly just move it on the X so it kind of do, does this nobody's gonna know there we go we got that door working here Probably should have seen how this thing opens up, so it kind of opens up on this side, which means that this door should probably be mirrored on the Y axis. No clone, no copy, no nothing, just Y. So now it swings open on this side. Let's see how the one on the bottom sees. This one swings on the inside, so that means on this side. So again, this thing needs to be mirrored like that. There we go. So now you open this door. It goes up to here. You go in. Nice. All right, let's see. Do we have any more doors in here? Nope, there's only one over here. So let's make that one. This one is going to be a bit bigger, so we're going to have to do a bit of uh, scaling for it, so 90 degrees. In here is fine. Scale it. <sighs> I don't want to scale it that way because it's going to really screw up the sizing. So I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm actually going to move the geometry. So open up the group, open, and that turbo smooth knob, but open the edit poly, select these guys, move them to the edge. Let's make sure it doesn't cap or snap over across. That's fine. Select those guys here. Move, the, move them over on this side, like that. Okay, deselect the vertex selection. All right, select just this guy, move it over here. And I think that with this, we can close the door. We are stuck with something like this, and this is more or less what we want for our entrance door. So it opens up pivots on the inside. We have this door pivots uh, over here. This one pivots over there. All right, cool. Let's go add in a simple UV, a box UV 100 by 100 by 100 give it the same uh, texture we are using uh, universally for this uh, scene for wood okay boom mm, this <laughs> doesn't matter for now though i just want to know that i've actually added a uv map for now so again box 100 by 100 by 100 all right it here UV map 100 by 100 by 100 all right so we have the doors we have 
the flooring done. We got the uh, thing for here, for the bathroom. Okay, now, what do we need? What do we want to add now? Let me see if this thing up. All right, lighting for the fixtures. What sort of a lighting fixtures do you guys want to use for this place? Also, we can put in some decor, uh, decor in here for decorations, like some sort of maybe a picture here or I don't know. Yeah, we can probably use some curtains here maybe, but uh, using curtains in a place like this is really going to close off this space. Not sure if a curtain would be a good choice for here. We might add one though, it's not a problem. Oh, actually, we can do something about the uh, the balcony here. Honestly, though, let me see if I can take one of the things that I created. I think it was for the bar. We created uh, something over there. Yeah, let me save this thing first and open up one of the scenes that I had for the bar. Open the file. All right. Hello bar. Now from what I remember, we should have some fences here. Yep, there we go. I got a fence, one type, and the second one is this type. What do you guys think? Is this good enough for our balcony fence, or should we make another one? Or maybe something like this one. Ah, damn, I'm missing something here. A wooden one. Things are still screwed up, but it's not a problem. These two can go up here. All right, so I got this frame on. So I can take this, make it a glass go across, but meh. All right, uh, so what do you guys think? Should we go with something like this or do we go with some other sort of uh, fencing for our balcony here for the, the apartment? So you recover, you lost file thirsty. Uh, dude, I did not recover this. I never lost this one. The one that I lost was the actual tutorial that I was creating. I actually spent a whole... Uh, uh, like a whole series of videos where I broke down everything I made it so it was like a you know tutorial way and then that that's the one that got lost that's the one that was basically stolen this one I still have it I haven't touched it this was the last version that we did in the thing it was the 20th or something like that the 19th um, stream that we did everything is still here so yeah, uh, you are a humble man, bro, good for us. I don't see how I'm humble, but okay, I'll go for it. Uh, would you do some video about texture, shading and rendering in the future? I have done quite a bit of uh, tutorials about shading and rendering and texturing.
I do. Uh, hmm. I've thought about doing uh, the shadings and texturings on the live streams, but that's not very viable because while I'm streaming, majority of the CPU power goes to you guys watching this. And the thing here is that if I'm not uh, streaming, then I can record the videos and then it's okay. But in live streams, going with uh, shading and texturing is not the best course of action because that requires some rendering time and rendering time basically means me clicking render and waiting for like 10 or 20 minutes nobody likes to watch me wait for 20 minutes hence on all of the streams i focus more on creating the actual scene All right, now let's see. Let me check something like this then. We're gonna go over here and in here, right down balcony railing. can actually go with something like this it's a simple design just a twirl iron not bad mm, this is good for patio or patio this is again a very simple design I'm a huge, huge opponent of stuff like this. I do not like this. I think it looks crap. This is weird. Why is there a balcony where you have just a window? Makes no sense. It, what is this? You're going to go out the window and just stand on the balcony? The hell? Hey, hello. You know what? I actually like like this idea. And the way I, the reason why I like this idea is that I can do this very very fast without spending any time. And behold, it's going to be very very fast. Check my Discord. What did you do to the Discord? I have to model this one. All right. Dude, this is what I just said. I just said that I hate these guys. And you're just going... Are you like trying to rub it in my face? Look at this. Look at this. I don't like that. Alright. Uh, let's do this. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. Stop. So go create a shape. Go linear. Now extrude, raise it up, try 110, yeah 110 works, now edit poly, convert this into a poly, okay, now polygon modeling, generate topology, Let's make it something weird. Oh, nope, nope. Let's give it some extra geometry first before I do that. So connect. 10. Connect. Four. Connect. Four. All right, let's see now. Make me a jumble. All right. 
making a jumble, but don't screw up the edges here and here. Control I. Let's see now. Okay. Control I. Damn it. Really? Well, this looks not like what I was hoping for. Oh no, oh crap. Whew. Okay, I just double clicked that thing. I think I almost made it crash. Power size, no, no. Nope, nope. All right, so this thing is not gonna work this way. No, okay. I guess we'll, we won't be doing it that way then. And the isolate, whatever. All right, let's see what you guys were saying. I thought that thing was gonna work. It did not work the way that I thought it was gonna work, so whatever. What is here? All right, so basically it's, ah, damn it, I hate, even though I hate these, I'll just create one so you can see how it's done. All right, isolate. Uh, create shape, linear, fine, whatever. Go extrude. Again, 110 is fine, isolated. So now at least I know how far it should extend. Now let's just go over and make a line. This thing has a swirl in here. Select everything, make this thing smooth. Remove that one. Now let's try and get everything. So then. All right. It's fine like that. This is okay. You're going to be a Bezier corner. You're going to be a Bezier corner as well. I'm going to smooth into right here. Ah, refine and in one extra. You can be a smooth one. smooth and you can be smooth again oh crap whatever all right we got this now once we have this just move it back make it renderable make it rectangular Make it a bit thinner. So three by maybe 0.5. And this is what I'm looking at, more or less what I'm seeing here. So three and that one and a half is fine. Uh, fine 
all right, not too shabby. It's fine, that's okay. All right. <sighs> Edit poly, remove the cap on this side, this extra line, add in the extra geometry. One on the corner, one in here. Oh, come on. Two connects. Pinch them apart. One cap on the edge in here. Another one on this corner here. And a turbo smooth to boot, and, and we're done. We get this thing on. Now, just rotate around 180. Like this. And now what I want to do is, I can use the spacing tool again, or I can just manually get this thing to go all the way across. So maybe, I don't know, uh, what, 10 centimeters across. But in that case, I might actually do this thing with the array. So make it an arrayable one. So go copy instance, it's fine. On the X, you want to move it for 10 centimeters. Make 10 counts preview. All right, so we need to increase the number. All right, it's way too many. So let's increase the spacing. So instead of 10, let's write with 20. 20 might be a bit too much. So let's go with 15 centimeters and decrease the count. There we go. Okay, so instance, okay, fine. Boom, we got everything done. Move them up just a tiny bit like this. Now for this one, make one more copy that's gonna be on this side. Put it on the end over here. Maybe like this. Right, cool and array the same thing again this time though it's going to be 15 negative y minus 15 x is not going to be moved let's see preview reduce the count to nine that's fine select everything and flip it around, mirror it on the X as a copy. Move it to the other side. All right, it's good enough. All right, almost good enough. Now it's good enough. So select everything except this thing. All right, select all of them and ah. And this is not, this is, everything is not unique. All right, so let's select all of these guys, make them unique, yes. Select all, nope. Really? All right, select these guys, make them unique. Select all the ones in the middle, make them unique. Select just one of these guys. Edit poly on top of the turbo smooth. Attach all of them together. There we go. And what we end up with is we have this, which is more or less this thing. Now we just need to have one edge on the top, one edge on the bottom, and we can take that from this edge. So 
create a shape out of this a linear create the shape from one on the bottom as well create a shape linear delete this this bottom one instead of like making it uh, renderable like this we're gonna make it radial increase the radius or the thickness for that thing move it down until it touches move the same thing down here so radial increase the thickness not this much but something like 15 might even be too much 15 as well so let's write 10 and now we're gonna have to move it a bit because on the bottom one needs to be about here and now on this side needs to go on the inside of it come on there we go this this side goes on this side now decrease this thing even further like yeah let's try with six now raise it up till it touches here now one two and three isolate everything give them their own any color okay we have a guardrail for a balcony all right let's continue on doing other things in this apartment uh, hide this uh, close this All right, that is fine. <sighs> okay, what are we doing next? What do you guys want to do? What should we add to this apartment to make it more homey? Like what I'm thinking about is we're probably going to need some light to put in here, like light fixture. We will need some coat hooks that I can see that go on this uh, place over here. Well, yeah, let me see the code hooks. What are they supposed to be? So we go code hooks. So images, code hooks. Wait, what, this? This is a code hook? Okay. Dude. All right, so we need. Oh, you know what? Just got an idea. Uh, I'm gonna take one of these guys, put it here. Clone is an object. You're gonna be called uh, railing, balcony railing. Okay, balcony railing is done. Select this thing. Okay. I want to save before I do anything else. And I want to reverse the turbo smooth on this uh, since it still has the proper edges. So turbo reverse should work. Yep, it does work. Awesome. Convert to enable poly. Now for this thing. Turn to object, flip it around 90 or 180.
Okay. Let me just do this then. Uh, the front should have maybe something like a plane. This plane should be where you put the hooks. This thing should be a bit more wider now, maybe like this. this thing maybe like 10 okay so we had one need three more Make them instances okay we got those now just need to have something to hold uh, these and for that, I'm going to do just something very, very simple. That very simple thing being one, two, three, and four. Turn off this thing. Now, select these guys over from that side. Put them in there. Now, select this move these two all across to this side now move them back on the y or on the x snap them together in line like that and what i've done here now is going to allow me to select both of these move them down like so select both of these fillet them around okay really you don't want to fill it the hell all right convert to a spline now fill it these two there we go that's what I had in mind initially a very small amount okay like this make it renderable a very very small amount like this and you know, I need something to cap off that edge so one more boxy part on this side design wise this should work to an extent maybe something like this okay now this one is gonna go back a bit like so all right select this edge select oh you know what just hit it with a chamfer chamfer design 0.3 this works okay all right so I'll go here again chamfer uh, 0 0.1 all right cool great cool we got a coat hanger let's just check out and see how this thing looks uh, it's a bit offset to the side so we're gonna have to move it in but yeah we got our coat hanger here so we don't have to create one from scratch so creating that uh, thing on the balcony was not a total loss. We did create something here as well. All right, so having done that, let's see what's left. What is left is uh, the lighting Valentina's idea. All right, let's see Valentina's idea. Holy smokes, what the hell is this? That 
Got some crazy designs. What is all is Valentine? Uh, and model something like this. I'm actually a fan of something like this for my apartment. Hell, I would probably buy something like this. This is not bad. This is cool. Actually, I like this idea a lot because it kind of falls into that idea that I had for this middle piece. It's gonna break up this uh, boring part, like this open space. Not a bad idea, but I do need something smaller to put in over here. So you might go with what Valentina pasted, some of these lamps or whatever the hell they are. They are very simple geometry, so it should be hard. This is like what? One cylinder, two lines, a sphere, it's simple. Okay. What do you guys think? Do we go with uh, a lamp like this one for this piece? Or for this uh, space over here? But you might actually need to add in something for this place as well. But I would probably need to add something like that's going to be like a longer flat uh, light here. We'll see. Okay, let's go with something like that. Close this, pop it off to, do I have to, hmm. Now the real question is, do I use something like this and put that thing on top of uh, here? Or do we go with something like this and put it up here? But I'm definitely eyeing this thing for the middle of the room. Alright, let's go with this thing. It's simple enough. And I can put squeeze it in in the last twelve minutes. So I'm gonna just isolate this piece so I can know what the hell I'm doing. And let's go with this. I know it's a tripod, so let's see if I can do it this way. Splines, standard, no, 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 standard primitives. Go to compound objects. No, standard primitives. Where's the goddamn? Is it prism? Yeah. No, I'm not looking for prism. Although I can use this. So let's just go for a base and go 15 by 15 by 15. And that's going to give me the uh, the tripod here that I need. And for this, I can just go and extrude, or not extrude, but extract that, create a shape, a linear one, that's fine. I'll delete this, I no longer need this. Although, I could, what I do is just ask, delete that thing. Now, go ahead and make a line that's gonna go from here to here and then there. All right, cool. That thing works. I will need a connector and I will need
you can do this form a table lamp and a floor lamp and put it in the corner near the sofa yeah I can do that as well this is a very compact lamp so you can pretty much put it anywhere just want to make the material for it a lamp in the bedroom All right, so now if I have this, move it upwards, move it backwards, just needs to touch here. I want to need more geometry here, so 32. And from here, I want to rotate this like so. There we go. So now it's touching like this. Okay, now I do want this thing to be a bit more th thicker so 0 0.5 maybe or one uh, one is way too much so 0 0.7 okay 0 0.7 here as well it's the uniform uh, thickness for it all right cool uh, move this thing but move it locally it doesn't matter you and now just move this guy up a bit so it's something like this this thing has to have some uh, it does have a holder I was gonna say it's weird how this thing is just like floating around but this thing actually does have some geometry holding it in place so let's go and get that geometry done so we get this, detach as a clone, get this, and now regularize this, turbo smooth. Connect. That is fine. Now iterations to there we go. Now we got a holder. Turbo smooth for this thing guy. There we go. Now it's being held there with something and not just floating in midair. So you're gonna get a different color dark color, you can get a whiter color. You're gonna get this whiter color as well. Okay, cool. Hey Shukrat! Hey dude, you're the first one that I see that has that uh, the new member thing. So congratulations, dude! You got you got the first membership. All right. Okay, we got. Uh, this thing yeah if I'm not mistaken you should have uh, access to some like unique uh, memes or whatever they're called and uh, they're not memes they're called something else like the emojis or whatever okay so now hmm 
All right, we got this lamp for this piece over here, but we might be able to uh, convert this thing to a wall mounted one, like we said. So let's just. Well, when you check them out, man, tell me uh, what you mean, uh, what you think about it, because I haven't actually checked them out myself as well. I just just made them like really quickly. I will add more uh, once I have some more time. And I'll have to think about some uh, bonuses that I can give uh, people that are uh, joining in. Because the screwed up thing was that I actually wanted to give uh, off some uh, stuff with it. Like for the members, I wanted to give up some stuff. But then YouTube was like, that is not allowed. You cannot uh, give, st give stuff away to uh, your members or some of them you have to give it out to everybody or nobody and I was like okay I have to find a way to do it without breaking YouTube's uh, like rules okay okay this is actually not bad you put it like this Ah, <laughs> you're the second one that's asking me about that thing uh, uh, while I'm I've been doing this live stream. Like I said, initially I just wanted to like get it done as quickly as possible and get it out there, but uh, it was supposed to be like 12 videos or something. I'm at the 16th video at the moment, and I'm st I still have more things that I want to add. So that's why it took a bit more uh, time than I initially thought, but it's coming along. It should be finished shortly that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna jinx myself all right so cylinder no six by one Inset. One more. Collapse this. Chem for this one. To maybe like 0 0.2. There we go. Delete. Okay, that's fine. Turbo smooth on. Oh, wait a second. I will need some uh, extra edges here and here. Now let's see. Really? Okay. Let's make this thing even sharper then. There we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. So we got this. select that move this thing over here make one over here these look holy holy shit I just realized something I basically made a pair of boobs it even has the nipples and everything whoever designed this is a genius Yep, that's what I did. Valentina, is this your doing? You made me model a pair of boobs. If for some reason YouTube decides to flag this video, it's going to be your fault. Doesn't matter. Let's see if I actually switch this thing around. 
Give me something that'll look like a boob. Yeah. I'm not gonna have a boob lamp in my room. There we go. Maybe something like this. This, this is gonna give it off an interesting look. If you put a radial. Hey! <laughs> uh, my mind did not put anything or did not arrange them like that at all. I was just following this thing and then uh, like taking your idea that was right here and putting it on a wall and it ended up looking like that. So it's your fault. Yeah, but actually, you know what? Uh, you use a. Well, actually, it's going to be a diffused light. So uh, a lamp like this would give off a distinct look with the shadow. We'll see. But I actually do like it. I'm not gonna lie. It's, I do like that one. This one can go a bit, a bit back or just to rotate around like maybe like this. Go back now. And boom! We got ourselves some lights going on. All right, we've been going on for two hours then. So I guess we had a pretty good uh, stream today, I think. Uh, we modeled some stuff. We finished up the uh, the shower uh, object here. So the shower is finished. We made some doors here. We created uh, the hanging, the, I was gonna say the, ha the the coat hangers, uh, we created uh, some of the railings for the balcony and we created the boob lamps. So with all of that done, I think it was a pretty decent uh, run. So now here is my question for you guys. Uh, what do we do on the next stream? Do we go on and try to like model some stuff that we can reuse in future uh, streams, like uh, filler objects, like de decor, or what? Or do we go up and start a new theme project and then start modeling stuff for a new theme uh, uh, scene? What do you guys think? Come on, now is your time to uh, give me your feedback. What do we do on the next stream? Do we continue on working on this scene? Or do we go on and create a new scene? Cast your vote right now. I want to see your comments. And like always, if you did enjoy the uh, stream, go ahead and hit the like button. All right, I actually like those. People are in for filler objects. For a stream or two would be cool. I actually like that idea as well. Model a cat. I would not model a cat. Cats are not things that are okay to be modeled because cats are evil. Cats will not stand uh, in a one place to be modeled. So no. All right, we will continue this project with filler objects. This means that uh, I will want you guys to be with me on the next uh, uh, stream. I want everybody to be here. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you can be here on Thursday, I want you to be here on Thursday because we will continue with this scene. We will make filler objects. Filler objects are objects that you can find in pretty much any scenes. So it might be stuff that we put in uh, the kitchen cabinets. It might be stuff that we put on the uh, tables. We might be stuff that we put up here on shelves. It might be stuff that we put on uh, like in the kitchen or not the kitchen, but the, the bathroom. Pretty much things that go around on. Oh, shit. Yep, you're right. It's February 14th, the next stream. So on Valentine's when nobody's going to be online, damn. Well, it doesn't matter. There are three people, there are th three types of people. You get P, 
people that are in love they will uh, celebrate Valentine's people who are not in love they will not be uh, uh, like uh, doing Valentine's and then you have 3d uh, artists and those are people that usually don't know what day it is what year it is what month it is and that is my people and that is you people and uh, February 14th means nothing to you guys so you're gonna be here and yeah it's gonna be Valentina's name day so Valentina is gonna be here she's gonna give us ideas I'm pretty sure Sarah's gonna be here and it like Shukrat said and married people married people I feel for you uh, I hope you have a cheap day because you know <laughs> very well that your wife is gonna ask you to do some <laughs> extravagant stuff so hell yeah have some fun to all of the other people you I hope you guys have some great days ahead of you and I will see you all on Thursday and we will continue this project so for now Hit the like button if you enjoyed the stream and come back to on Thursday and we will continue. Alright, people, have some fun and peace!